buzz, baby. The magic's in the air. I can feel it tonight. This is going to be a good one. That buzz is what makes us all start getting goosebumps. Uh -huh. and we, just, we can just feel when it's going to be a really lively crowd. Yep. And we can feel when it's going to be a not so lively crowd. And today, we are wrestling fans. Not cool. Yeah. Cool? Tell me I'm cool. I got the same question. Who do you give him to? Yeah. Ow! I don't want to do that. What is this filled with? People's um, fucking souls? Aqua. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna get the water. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> so why are we all in here? Locker room meeting, Brian. I'm going back to the locker room. No, How about not. your lines, huh? No, oh my god. Dude, you're, you're, you're the second person to tell me that my buddy Dave told me him and Steve this. Smith for Gronk. Are you making a documentary? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna be in it? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, see ya. Bye. <laughs> Bill Carr, ladies and gentlemen. Bill Carr. It's always next year, right? The year after? I've been saying that for like eight years. <laughs> <laughs> it's always next year. What is this? Uh, we're filming a documentary about my life. Really? Yeah. Awkward. Yeah, you kind of walked right into that. I did. I mean, so, probably should have had you like, should have warned you. So, you know, so uncomfortable. What, He's real bashful, guys. What kind of... What kind of movie is it about? Like movie stuff and things. Yeah. Oh, it's a, really? It's about this one, like, not white kid that walks Wait, in the middle of the white kids. Whoa, whoa, okay, no, that's not what this movie's about. Right? I'm not, I'm not part of that movie. Okay. Oh. We're friends. Yeah. Yeah. I was gonna make that okay. sense. You guys can be real. Okay. Good. Bye. Camera. So. Toodles. My wife left me. <laughs> <laughs> This is what we do, like in the back, the wrestlers, we always peek through the curtain so we can watch the rest oh, of the show. Bad luck. You can't got, we got it, we got to know, we got to cater to our audience. And it's, it, for me, it's like, I want to see, I want to hear the buzz. When you don't hear the buzzing, buzzing then you know like, oh man, this is going to be a little rough, but they're buzzing. <laughs>
shirts. Plenty of you guys came up to me. Made me feel like a million bucks. I'm trying to tear it up in Japan. Wherever I go, have great wrestling matches for you guys. And you guys are appreciating every bit of it. Thank you for that. Hard subject to change, brother.
JT, you got a minute? Yo, that was pretty fucking nuts, man. So you had no idea? No, I did. I mean, I knew there was something wrong with AJ. I didn't know that it was gonna be like, like a like a cost a match. Like, I mean, but for it to be Matt Hardy, yo, that's like, I mean, shit. I'm not prepared for Matt Hardy right now. I was, I was just about prepared for AJ Styles. Now I forget all that. No, holy shit. I've never like been in the ring and heard an ovation like that. That was surreal. That was surreal. And you know what's crazy? It's like, uh, as I'm in the ring, there's tons of people out there. I can see my sister through everybody, and I know, like, growing up, she's a huge Hardy Boy fan. I thought she was going to pass out. <laughs> I see her standing with her, she's like screaming. Wow. Fuck. But I mean, it wouldn't be, this wouldn't be the most accurate depiction of my life if. It wasn't the most difficult week to get here. If the card wasn't subject to change, I mean, this is my life story. Like, work for it, work for it. Every obstacle in the way, get there. Day of, it's supposed to be taken away from me. And I feel like all the hard work and, and the passion I have doesn't go unanswered. And then Matt Hardy walks out, and now I have another match, as opposed to not having a match, probably not getting paid. And now, JT Dunn, Matt Hardy, first time ever. And we're still here in Providence. This story isn't over. And I'm, this is fucking great, man. Even if I don't make a million dollars in wrestling, I'm, I'm satisfied. Like, even if this doesn't take me all over the world like I wanted to, like, even more, like, I'm satisfied, man. Like, I did it my way. I'm doing it my way. I'm doing it at home. I'm doing it in front of friends. I'm doing it in front of family. Like, that's what means something to me.